Hi folks, we're out here on the farm today. We've had a lot of questions come in about planting trees in the early spring. Um, we're a little bit late uh, in, in terms of planting. The tree that we're going to plant is, is already starting to bud out. It's not an ideal day to plant a tree today. The sun is out. It's, it's going to warm up into the 70s. There is a slight breeze. And everything uh, is working against that tree today. We have to work quickly. We don't want the soil to dry out. We don't want the root ball to dry out. So we're going to do this as an example, but the best day to plant a tree is an overcast early spring day where it's forecasted to have rain the next couple of days. Uh, we're not forecasted to have rain for another five to six days, so I'm going to have to care for this tree and water it because we're going to shock this tree when we take it out of a pot. The first thing we do when, uh, when we set up is line out where we want our tree to go. Make sure there's no power lines, no water lines, no cables. Make sure you make the call to have Miss Dig come out and, and locate if there is any lines or power in the ground. You're responsible for that. So make sure that's step one. Step two, once you get your tree, is to evaluate the root system. Today, I've, I've evaluated the root system off camera. I was able to dig the hole. We're blessed with some very good soil here in Iowa. It's not compacted uh, in this location. It's good black dirt. So I didn't have to dig as big of a hole as I normally would. If we're on poorer soils, heavy clay soils, I'm gonna dig a hole two to three times the size of my pot. Most people make the mistake when they dig a hole for planting a tree, they dig it too deep. They don't dig it broad enough, all right? And so depth to a tree is fatal. Planting a tree too deep is dead in five to 10 years. It just is never gonna thrive. People think they can plant it deep and it's gonna be better off. It isn't. When in doubt, plant it shallow, all right? And we're gonna learn today how to identify where we need to plant this tree. So we have this really nice potted cherry tree and we're taking off that pot. You can see this is, has established in the pot. Uh, the roots are going all the way around it. It's really good. Um, we have a couple different options though. We have a, a main root right here, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the first main lateral root. I want that root when it's in the pot to be no more than an inch below the surface of the ground, all right? And so right now, when I plant that in that hole, it's just about there, all right? Now, what I need to do, and I, I take an old used saw or utility knife, actually I'll use my clippers, I need to come in and I actually need to break these roots up, all right? I need to break the memory of those roots going around and around in a pot. And yes, this will probably ruin the shears and they'll be needing uh, to be resharpened. But if you don't, you're setting that tree up for failure. All right, so now I've done that. I've roughed these roots up. And in a lot of cases, when you're planting a tree from the nurseries through the production process, a lot of extra soil gets added. So really, Take that soil and those fine little feeder roots that are coming off the stem that aren't really good roots anyways, pull all that soil back and find the first main root, all right? This root's going to be just below the surface of the ground. So what I'm doing now, I'm lining my tree up with my other ones in the row, and I want to make sure that this tree is upright, all right, that it's tipped appropriate. Put a little bit of soil under the one side, and now what I'm going to do is uh, you want loose, friable soil, all right? You don't want heavy clods of, of clay. So, you know, I don't want to throw this down into that hole, all right? I want to break it up. You can see how it's, it's uh, fairly wet. We've been blessed with some rain this summer or this, this early spring. A lot of people are going to ask, why don't you throw in some fertilizer? I'm not a fan of fertilizing right when you plant the tree. Iowa has really rich soils. If you don't have rich soils and you fertilize, you kind of trick that tree in its first year into putting on too much above ground growth, all right? Fertilizer tricks it and it, it 
what it should be doing in its first year is putting root systems on. People fertilize, they get this big top growth, the tree looks great, and then July and August happens. We get hot, we get dry. All of a sudden, you've got so much biomass on this tree that the root system never developed for, it can't sustain it. And that's when we start to see trees wither and die in late summer. So I don't fertilize this first year. I'll start probably next spring with just a quarter to a half a cup of granular fertilizer. I just go to the farm store and buy, if it's 10, 10, 10 or 12, 12, 12, just a quarter cup around this size tree. As the tree grows, I give it a little bit more granular fertilizer, but I only fertilize in the early spring. All right, so I'm not gonna add any now. Um, I'm just putting this loose soil back in. All right, getting it all the way around. We do not want to leave any air pockets, all right? Air pockets, dry out roots, um, you know, it gives it an easier path for moles um, and voles to get in here. I wanna make sure I get the dirt all the way around on this one, all right? This is a nice tree, we don't wanna lose it. Sometimes you gotta break up the, uh, the grass clods. All right, we're gonna get this around. You can see I'm still at the depth. Now, some of the problems we also see, individuals will step on this root system, they'll just try to pack every last piece of dirt into the hole, all right? And you don't wanna do that. What you're doing is you're just compressing those root systems and you're basically telling that tree, well, good luck, we've just now taken good dirt good soil and turned it into highly compressed and it basically will think of it as another pot that it's just been planted in. So it will never spread its root system out like it should. Now I'm on a hill slope here and I know this is a little bit away from, from uh, where the homeowner lives so it's not going to get a lot of rain or it's not going to get a lot of, of additional rain and moisture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the sod clump that I had moved when I dug this hole and I'm just going to leave it right here. I'm creating a little bit of a dam and hopefully when it does rain it's going to concentrate more water right here at the base. All right. So my tree is now upright. I've put it into the ground and last thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put a fence on it and you can look at some of these other trees we've put a fence uh, around them to protect them from deer and rabbits and those trees were planted in the early fall last year as an example of fall planting deer and rabbits left them alone they've they flushed out really well they're starting to flower and those plants have only been in the ground for about six six months so we've got a nice tree we're going to put a fence on it put a stake on it and this tree should be fine. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at the number listed below. Send me an email for all your tree and shrub related questions. Have a great day.